This whole system's flawed. You can't even take AWS certifications online the right way. Well, there's looting, protesting everywhere. I'm just here trying to take an AWS exam. And so in this video, I'm going to tell you why you sh I am not going to take uh, a remote Pearson view exam. So two weeks ago, I made a video detailing my plan on how I'm going to get the DevOps Pro professional certification in only two weeks. And that was my plan. And of course, since that was two weeks ago, um, I don't have it yet. I mean, I guess it was exactly two weeks ago, but um, I can't really take the exam on a weekday unless I want to take it online. Well, I feel like I did get distracted in trying to study for that exam and maybe two weeks probably wasn't enough to study for a professional exam. But I feel like I'm at least mostly ready to take the exam, maybe a little bit more studying to go. But I feel like I, I don't want to take the exam online because of some of the issues I'm going to be showing you and with, with some of these AWS uh, certifications exams when you take them online. So I'm ready to, ready to take the exam, but the world is not ready for me to take the exam. So I don't want to take the exam online if the platform I'm taking it on, specifically Pearson View uh, Remote or whatever it's called, um, is not matured enough because, of course, it, it's not going to be mature if it like they just kind of create the platform like a couple months ago. It, it takes a long time to create like a, a really good solid like testing platform, and I don't think they're ready yet, unfortunately. All right, before I show you the reasons why you shouldn't take the Pearson view, make sure to triple click that like button for the YouTube algorithm as it'll help me a lot. All right, thanks. So if we just peruse on over to the AWS subreddit, which might be used by some people, you can see, oh, what is this? The pen by moderators thing, PSA. Don't take remote exams offered by Pearson view on view for AWS certifications two months ago. You might think, oh, this is probably fixed by now. Like two months, that's, that's easy. It's, it's all good, right? Well, I mean, let's, let's take a closer look here. We don't want to say it's fixed, even though it's been two months. I mean, it's still pinned, so it's still going to be going on, right? All right, so this person clearly does not like the Pearson View on view for AWS certifications online. And I don't really blame them. Like, if, um, so everyone knows that AWS is all about high availability, but if the partners don't have high availability either, then it's kind of like, it's kind of on AWS to have their partners be on a <laughs> highly available as well, right? I mean, the friends don't let other friends not be highly available. Fr friends let make sure their friends are available all the time. <laughs> that sounds bad. <laughs> so I guess the process for what you're going to do when you, tr when you try to take this online cer certification is you go through some initial checks. You know, they like take your webcam, you gotta throw it around your room, and then... <laughs> <laughs> like a lasso and then make sure you're not cheating with your room and stuff like that but um, so it, of course it will take longer to do that but I guess that makes sense because normally you would have to drive to take the certification but um, they'll ask you for a cell phone number and you can take your photo and then so what, what this person had was that they had a spinning like like a little spinning thing for loading for 45 minutes and they tried to like get help by like going through their chat window and they waited for 52 minutes and nothing happened so this is like a complete waste of money for them because they tried to take this exam and they couldn't because the system's broken the system's bugged and they can't do it and of course I would be really mad for this and this is probably the reason why I'm not going to take this online certification thing because I value my time <laughs> and don't even attempt an online exam with Pearson. So, okay, I, I understand it. And I'm, I'm not in like a super rush to take the exam anyways, other than like the, oh, I want to get it done in two weeks thing. But like, I feel like I already missed that deadline. So if we look at the comments, because I want to, like, that's only one data point. So some people are saying, oh yeah, they have no issues whatsoever. They take like, they've taken like two certifications and it all worked good for them. But that was like nine days ago and like three days ago. But then there's like other ones that are really scared from this. So, and they're just canceling exams based on like this, this craze that like if it doesn't work then, or the Pearson system doesn't work, then they don't want to do it. And I, I can understand that. Like, um, I, I don't want a good, a bad experience. Like if you're going to an airport, you want a good experience. You don't want to be like held up at the security line for four hours. 
So it, most, it seems like most of these issues that they were having were, of course, two months ago. And like for this, for example, this person, they had to try to take an exam and they waited three hours and nothing happened because they'll, they'll like say on the screen, most candidates will have their tests delivered by a proctor within 10 minutes. <laughs> That's a funny joke. They're talking about 10 minutes in elephant years or shark years because sh some sharks can live like 300 years. And then it makes it even bad that they can't even pay for really good customer service. Like then they, this person tried to call the phone for two hours and 30 minutes. And this isn't like only this person thing. This is a lot of people. They had to wait really long for customer service and two hours and 30 minutes is just, is that's just not right for customer service. Like 10, out, 10 minutes should probably be the max you should wait for customer service. So it'll say all agents are currently assisting other customers, woo! <laughs> and then they try to contact them, email, Facebook, Twitter. This is not good for the image of Pearson. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I, I would rather just wait for the in-person exam. I wouldn't want to risk it for this. And it seems like look, looking deeper into this, a lot of the issue was happening or a lot of the issues were happening because India was on lockdown. And when you're in lockdown, you know what you got to do. You got to take those AWS certifications online. <laughs> but yeah, I agree. They they should have handled the load better, or they should have limited the number of seats to what they could handle. However, in the end, I think most of the most recent issues aren't being seen. So it might be a good thing to do. I don't know. It's up to you. So I went to go see out see Pearson's I guess test reg registration process myself because I want to do. I want to register for an exam eventually, and it, it seemed to work pretty fine. Um, I, I think I, I clicked the in-person one because I don't want to do, I don't want to risk the not in-person one and have the terrible customer service that some other people had. So, I, and it seemed to work fine. They have um, like at least the test center I cl clicked, which is Northern Virginia, seemed to have plenty of locations, at least only on Saturday and Sunday, which makes sense. However, um, yeah, Saturday and Sunday, that's, that's fine by me. So I think I might just do it for the Saturday. Although there is the risk of getting a virus, but I think it should be fine. All right, my final thoughts on this whole situation is that the Pearson view shouldn't have had uh, filled so many spots if they could not handle that amount of pressure or that minute amount of, um, I guess, people registering for the exam. And yeah, I guess you could say, yeah, it's hard to tell at least during the lockdown, how many people are going to register for the exam. But a lot of people were at registering because there's nothing else to do except for study for AWS certification. So it's, it's hard to say, but they shouldn't have allowed that many spots if they couldn't handle it. So that was one thing. And then another thing is that they should have had more people come in for customer service because they didn't have enough customer service agents and they can't assist all these people that are having this many issues. And you might well be also saying, hey, your test site could also be have bad conditions and it might not work properly. So for example, this person had terrible experience in a piece of view because it was in a construction site with drill noise. And I don't think I would be able to focus ever in that kind of situation. Like I remember I took like um, a certification exam once. I think I, don't, I think it was like security or something. And then like someone kept opening and closing a squeaky door because that's the squeaky door like l opened the door to like the testing room and the squeaky door it was the most annoying thing they gave us little earplugs but that squeakiness penetrated right through my soul so i can kind of understand how you would kind of fail because of drill noise and had a terrible experience and then they said they tried to talk to them but support is worse than the training site which i don't know how anything could be worse than drill site so that support must be pretty bad and some of the solutions that people come up come up with are, oh yeah, if you just know a Pearson rep, you can just go talk to them. Which means that you have to know a Pearson rep to get customer service. Th that's not right. <laughs> like this person advises people, finding people on LinkedIn to get customer service for the broken Pearson view experience. That that's just simply not right. I I wish I would have known about this Pearson view issue before, like two months ago when it was happening, but yeah, that's, this isn't right. All right, this person claims that taking online tests with Pearson is a bad show wrapped in a migraine dipped in a root canal. 
which sounds very tasty, by the way. Like, like, how does that sound tasty? They won't do a refund. They won't give you a, they'll give you a voucher for another, another exam. And it's just money hungry and bad business. That's what I can say about Pearson View, uh, at least two months ago. All right, if you can't do the crime, don't do the time, Pearson. All right, that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace.